Now we need to answer question two and part two of question three, which requires you to audit the related party transaction, which means we have to address the related party risk that it's not at arm's length, but then we also need to address all the other risks of misstatements because it is a transaction. And so I need to use my assertions, my specific accuracy assertion, Occurrence assertion, completeness we would have done above in the identifying element, so that's sorted. Cut-off assertion, looking at your dates and your classification assertion, because we're looking at transactions. And then remember, just our standard general procedures are going to help us to see if the related party transactions are actually recorded at arm's length, which is what we are testing. So, how do we test for occurrence? We need to make sure that the transaction was authorized. So, inspect the minutes of meetings for authorization of that transaction. Also, for occurrence, there should be a contract with the details. So, inspect the contract with the related party transactions to make sure that it is a valid transaction. That's a current sorted. For accuracy, we've got to check the amounts, the details, and so on. So I can go and confirm the transaction with intermediaries or with the related party itself. Okay, so intermediaries, anybody who was involved in this transaction but not necessarily the related party. But then I need to go and confirm it with the related party. Other things for accuracy, we want to make sure that it is at arm's length. So I need to compare the transaction with a similar transaction with a non-related party. So doing an analytical procedure will help. You could also just look at uh, this transaction with a market-related transaction. So it doesn't have to be with the same company entering in with somebody else. But an analytical will help me to see that it is at arm's length. Inspecting the related party's financials and accounting records to see that it does actually match on the other side is going to help us with accuracy as well as with classification because what have they put as the opposite entry does that make sense in terms of ours if there's any calculations recalculating is going to be important for accuracy okay and obviously yeah agreeing the terms in the contract Inspecting the contract is going to help us with occurrence, but then auditing the detail in the contract or agreeing it to the accounting records is going to help us with the accuracy element. So auditing that detail. And that's accuracy and classification. Agreeing the date which would also be here. So let's put this here. Cut off. Date would be the details in the contract and bring the date to the accounting records. And then I've said general procedures. So just standard inquiry with management about related party transactions. Inspecting the presentation and disclosure in the financial statements. So that's presentation and disclosure. We actually should have that up here. Sorry. Scanning through the related party account or journal for unusual entries is a general procedure. 
agreeing the total transactions with this related party to what's in the related party's general ledger account is going to be a general procedure. So my standard general procedures need to be performed and now I've just got to audit using my standard assertions. So nothing too tricky here guys. Just remember though, it's crucial that we make sure that it is at arm's length. Then we test in the contract which is standard and we're checking that it's authorized because it needs to be authorized because it's a transaction. And completeness we've already done. Alright, let's go have a look at the standard.